You know, they say you should never play hide and seek with a bear. They always pause the game when they're ahead. That's right, folks. Today, we're not just cracking bear jokes. We're also exploring the wild world of bear survival strategies. So if you found yourself chuckling at the thought of a bear trying to count to 10, you should definitely stick around. Now, moving on from our bear funny start, let's dive into the nitty gritty of surviving a bear. Imagine you're strolling through the forest and suddenly you come face to face with a grizzly bear. Now in this moment of impending doom, the last thing you want to do is make yourself look like a giant juicy salmon. So how do you convince a grizzly you're not its next meal? Well, the first rule of Grizzly Survival Club is don't make eye contact. Eye contact in bear language is like saying, hey pal, I'm challenging you to a wrestling match. And trust me, you don't want to wrestle a grizzly. Next, channel your inner calm guru and speak in a low assertive voice. Remember, you're not auditioning for an opera, you're trying to sound less like food. And finally, back away slowly. You're not in a race, and if you were, you wouldn't win anyway. So remember, when facing a grizzly, don't act delicious. Now, what if you bump into a black bear instead? Well, it's not all doom and gloom, folks. The key to surviving a black bear encounter lies in two simple words, big and loud. Picture yourself as a rock star on stage, but instead of adoring fans, you've got a curious black bear sizing you up. You want to make yourself look larger than life, like a headliner at a sold-out stadium. And oh, don't forget the noise. Make as much ruckus as you can. You're not just a rock star, you're a rock legend. Speaking of legends, there was this one guy who, upon encountering a black bear, started belting out show tunes. And guess what? The bear wasn't a fan of Broadway and took off. And then there was this other lady who started barking like a dog. The bear must have thought, this is too weird for me, and promptly retreated. So, in essence, if a black bear comes your way, make sure you're louder than a rock concert. But what about the majestic polar bear? Well, let's just say, you better hope your life insurance is up to date. Now, I know polar bears look all cuddly and cute, like giant snow-covered teddy bears. You might even be tempted to give one a big bear hug. But here's the cold, hard truth. They're not exactly known for their warm and fuzzy personalities. In fact, they're the most carnivorous of all bear species. Translation, they're a big fan of meat. And unfortunately for us, we fall into that category. Their habitat, the Arctic, that's right, the world's largest refrigerator. And in this frosty fridge, we're not the ones looking for a snack, we're the snack. So unless you have a secret desire to become a human popsicle, it's best to steer clear of these colossal creatures. But let's say you're the adventurous type and you find yourself face to face with a polar bear. What do you do? Well, you could try playing dead, but let's be honest, that's just making things easier for them. Your best bet, avoid them entirely. Yes, that's right, avoidance is the best survival strategy when it comes to polar bears. So, next time you're planning a trip to the Arctic, remember to pack your common sense along with your thermal underwear. Because when it comes to polar bears, they're not the cuddly creatures they're often portrayed to be. Remember, with polar bears, you're not at the top of the food chain anymore. You're basically a walking, talking popsicle to them. Well, that was a wild ride, wasn't it? We've journeyed through the bear necessities of survival, chuckled at some black bear bloopers, and faced the cold, hard, and indeed unbearable truth about polar bears. We've learned that grizzlies are a force to be reckoned with, and black bears, well, they're not always as cuddly as they look. And as for polar bears, let's just say, you'd better be an expert in snow fort building and have a lifetime supply of fish if you ever find yourself face to face with one. But hey, don't let this bearish talk scare you away. We'll keep bringing you more of these fun and furry facts. We promise it won't be unbearable. So stay tuned and bear with us for more exciting and humorous content. Hit that subscribe button and remember, don't feed the bears.